or an entire season. Last year she was a little terrified just because she hadn't had a chance to train properly. And, you know, I was sort of counting on the youth of a 16-year-old last year to just sort of get through a free program and maybe some adrenaline. But that wasn't the case. And this year she's been able to train more. Every day she's getting better. She's getting closer. Yuna Kim won this short program last year with a record point total. But she knows this one won't be easy. Kimmy Meisner, she'd give anything to win this. First up, Kim. A strong start. And then, disappointment. Dreams begin in the child who sees them come true for someone else. And today, they will. For an American angel hoping to regain her wings. Or for a Korean who competes with every breath. A tandem of determined and talented skaters from Japan. Or an Italian who conquered Europe and now wants the world. The ladies inspire dreams in others while pursuing their own in the free skate. But a couple of top names still to come, including the youngster, 17 years of age from South Korea, Yuna Kim, right after this message, and a word from our ABC stations. You're watching. Will you make me a banana cream pie, Peggy? Sure. Please? Yeah. You've I never won't made bake it this time, okay? Okay. That'd <laughs> no. be good. I'll cook you it and put it in the fridge. You still got it? Oh, yeah. Right. I'm better now. Yuna Kim on the ice, the 17-year-old from South Korea who trains in Toronto. There's nothing flashy at all about this skater. She is very gentle to the ice. Beautiful flow over the ice. She is opening with a triple-triple combination here. Triple flip, triple toe. Solid as a rock. Did you notice the line of that going in? That was straight. It wasn't outside or inside, but a straight line all the way through. And good height, which allowed her to get the revolutions. That's jumping. flying sit spin good air position very light then settling down. Now, that, that's wonderful. Turn your foot out here, my dear. Yuna Kim is the reigning world bronze medalist, and she is coached by a world champ, Brian Orser, and the title back in 87. This is a beautiful combination, this double axle, triple toe, very nice. That spin, I'm sorry to say, was a button camel. Had to get it in <laughs> once in the last 40 years when I stopped calling them button camels. 40? <laughs> yep. Keep going. <laughs> No, I stopped 40 years ago calling them button camels. Oh. 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 She's really 
was determined on that landing, it's hard to be focus again after you make a mistake. It'll be interesting to see if that was a full, complete landing or whether there was a little cheat on the end of that. We have a little smile on her face toward the end of this program. She still has to keep this energy up for the straight line footwork. That straight line footwork was really not aggressively fast or, or, or terrific. Had a lot of different moves, all the changes, the brackets, the rockers, the turns, that sort of thing. But it did not inspire as a straight line footwork. Nice Ina into the double axle. Nice flowing edge out of that jump. And now this final combination spin. A little bit more stretched. Beautiful sit positions. Well, I must tell you that the quality that she had in this jumping and in the performance was really very beautiful. She made a few little glitzes here and there, but ultimately that was a superb performance. Magnificent jumps, lovely performance, the whole thing. If that doesn't hold her up into a very high position, I think, in this competition, since we're in the last now three more, uh, 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 the third from the last skater, I think that I'll eat my hat. <laughs> well, she kept her calm, <laughs> and she really focused on each individual jump and just a beautiful flow of the dance. Could we be looking at the next world champion? Here I tonight, think I think that's difficult to examine. Yeah, Asada uh, Nakano still to come. So we'll see. We'll check the numbers in a moment. But the world champ from last year forced to withdraw earlier, and she's disappointed, obviously, about that. Standing by now with Peter Carruthers. We're sorry to see you withdraw, and we do wish you a speedy recovery with your injury. Good luck, Mickey. That's too bad. And, and the Japanese skaters, there's pressure on them that many others don't deal with, with the large contingent of media. And they, they are surrounded and followed all the time at these events and all the events that they, events that they skate in. They, and they make paparazzi look like tootsies. Yeah, I mean, it is to that level with those athletes. Yuna Kim waiting for the marks. And here is a look at her triple flip double toe combination she started this program with and I think it really set the tone of the quality of jumps and the quality of flow that this young lady has now the numbers just 17 years old and has been dealing herself with an injury she had a hip injury recently forced to withdraw from the four continents championship but Brian Orser said she was fit maybe not 100% but she was ready to go and obviously is 6482 for technical elements I think it's going to be wonderful to see her yeah. at 100 percent. It will, but guess what? It's not enough, enough to pull her ahead oh. of Carolina Costner. Look at that, how close that is. Holy. A little more than a point. Costner's still on top. Well, I've, I've got to tell you, I mean, there was a world of difference. In